My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can copy or move one file from a folder to another, how we can copy or move more files from a folder to another, and finally how we can copy or move all files from a folder to another. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. So here I got two directories, one with some random files in and an empty one. I want to move or copy some files from here to there. First, uh, let's just look at the two activities we will use today. Uh, that will be the copy file and the move file. Um, so the syntax in these two activities they are the same. So you need to provide a file here and then a destination directory. Then choose whether we should overwrite or not. And then it's done. So I think it's overkill to make an example for each of them. So I'll only be making the move example, but you can easily just change this to copy. Then it will just copy instead of move. So let me delete the copy. And uh, first we will just try to move one file. Say that we want to move this um, Excel sheet up here. What we'll do first is that we will create a variable for this uh, destination directory. And uh, let me right click here, click properties. We copy this directory path here. Then in the variable, we will make a variable called str path uh, two maybe that will be the destination. And then quotation marks and paste it in. Then a backslash files x two. That's the name you can see up here. So now we created this, and I think we can uh, create a destination. Uh, uh, what's it called the from directory two. So uh, create a variable str path from, and what we can do here, we can just right click on one of these guys, click properties, then mark it, and now we actually got the whole directory here. So um, that's it, we created a variable for uh, this directory and one for this. So now we can uh, say that we wanted, we wanted to move these Excel files, so um, what we do here is that we shift right click and copy as path, um, paste it in here and then the destination directory we already had that uh, to a variable like this now we can just choose if we want to override if this if it existed here however we don't touch this setting so let us try to run it you can see that we now move uh, this excel file down here so that worked let me move it back say that we wanted to uh, move copy or move all files uh, from up here to there then we will use a for each drag it in here we will change this to file it doesn't matter you can use item as well it's just a name but it's more easy to see that it's a file and then we will get all the file names up here what we'll do here is that we will directory get files and then we will have uh, the path uh, of this directory that was the str path from um, and then we will need to change the type argument to string like this let me delete this body and then we can just move the move file up here we're not done yet hold on we'll delete this file here and then we can just type in file so what this does it uh, this for each it will uh, get all the files in the directory here and then we will iterate through each of them and move uh, them one by one over here However, I think you'll move, it will move everything over in a blink because it's uh, quite fast. But let's look if we can see it. So now we moved everything over here. That's fine. That's what, that was what we wanted. Move it back here. Say that we only want to move or maybe Word documents, copy or move Word documents. Then we can go up here where we choose our uh, file name, so we'll get them. So um, what we'll do here is that we make a comma, quotation marks, then an asterisk, docx, that's the ending of the Word document, and the asterisk means that we just take every everything that ends with a docx, and that's these two guys here. So let me click OK, and let's try it again and see that it will move the two Word documents. And again, you can do it with copy as well. So now we run it and we can see that these guys moved. Say that we want to move both docs, uh, Word documents and Excel sheets, then we can again we can uh, choose where we get the files. We can use the concate, so con.concate. 
And then we will write it out again. We can add the copy direct. Let me use the intelligence directory. Get files. And then uh, str path from comma and then uh, asterisk dot xlsx that's the ending of an excel file and um, this should do we will click ok and then we can try to run it now you we choose to move the word and the excel files we'll see that in a blink and that worked so now you learned how you can copy or move some one some or all files from a folder to another that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more UiPath tutorials as, uh, as in addition to all the ones that's already there. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.